When I did this video on the effect of magnetic field orientation on Lenz's Law, I wondered if we replaced the non-ferrous conductor, in this case aluminum bar, with salt water, would you get a similar effect? Watch this video and you'll find out. I have two one-inch cube neodymium magnets. I have two two-inch square polycarbonate tubes that are ex extruded. I've glued Lexan to the sides to make it like a racetrack. This is my trigger. It's just brass. I use brass so that it wouldn't interfere with the magnets. And just some one, or actually one and a half inch square, uh, a couple of them, uh, pieces of uh, wood stock, a little piece of oak wood stock, and it just slams down on this, triggers it. I had to make this such that it would come down perfectly uniformly on this or else one side might go down before the other but this seems to work pretty good this has just got paper clips taped on the back a, a, a good position so that there's just a very light attraction of the magnet to the paper clips and it'll hold them in place and then when that th when this triggers it slams it down and they drop at the same time so that's how that works in this next slow motion, we got both tubes empty. We got both magnets with north up, and we're going to do uh, most of our experiments like that. So that's what this sign is north up this way, up that way, both tubes empty. Both tubes are empty, so both magnets should slide down at the same rate, and they do. This is exactly what we would expect. I've got the aluminum bar stock in here held up by the sponges and everything's set to go. We're going to trigger it, watch it slow motion and uh, see what happens. Okay, in this next slow motion, what we've got is we've got the doubled up 1 8 inch thick aluminum bar stock in this tube held up against the top with the sponges. Uh, magnets are going to be north up and this tube is still empty. Okay, the magnet on the left over the uh, aluminum bar stock, the eddy currents induced in it are significantly slowing down the magnet. This is what we would expect due to Lenz's law. It's hard to see in there, but we now have this tube filled with 3.5% sodium chloride solution. You can see the level right there. It's almost up to about as full as I could get it at this angle. Okay, in this slow motion video, this tube over here is still empty. We got both magnets north side up. This tube is filled up with 3.5% sodium chloride solution. Both magnets are sliding at the same speed, so no difference. Interesting. We'll increase the uh, concentration of salt water to 20%, see if that has an impact. Okay, we've replaced the 3.5% sodium chloride solution with 20% sodium chloride in this tube here. This one is still empty. Both magnets are in place north side up as with the other parts of this experiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a slow motion and see if that makes a difference compared to the 3.5%. Both magnets are sliding at essentially the same speed, so really no difference with the 20% sodium chloride either. Okay, let's summarize what we learned in this video. We built two magnet racetracks for one inch cube neodymium magnets like this. And they're out of a two inch square polycarbonate extruded tubes. And uh, we built a trigger arrangement here to hold the magnets up at the top. And use that to simultaneously drop both of them on both sides. This tube remained empty the whole time. And what we found was if you put aluminum bar stock in this tube over here, put sponges on there to hold it up against the top of the interior of the polycarbonate tube, you get a significant magnetic field interaction. And the uh, eddy currents slows down the movement. It's a Lenz's Law demonstration. And in a previous uh, video, our Lenz's Law and the effective magnetic field orientation, we showed 
the, the most interaction was with the north or south pole, either one down against the, the metal in, in that case. And much more interaction than you got with uh, it in any other orientation. So we kept in this one north side up just to be consistent in uh, all the experiments. So it was clear in here that you do get that uh, eddy current slowdown of the, uh, of the magnet sliding down. So then we took the aluminum bar stock out, filled this tube with 3.5% sodium chloride. It was Morton sea salt and distilled water uh, by weight. And uh, we kept this tube empty, did the same experiment, really saw no difference. So no interaction. So just to be sure, we increased the concentration of the sodium chloride, uh, mixed up a new batch at 20% uh, by weight, and uh, still no interaction. And really, I would not have expected an interaction, but I thought, well, I'm just gonna try this experiment just to make sure. Um, Cause in, in a metal, you've got loosely held electrons and conductors. And uh, they, they can interact very easily with a magnetic field. In a solution, an ionic solution, where you have positive and negative ions in solution are closely associated with each other, to get current flow, you have to have ion migration. For example, if you stick two electrodes in a saltwater solution, slowly turn up the voltage from zero, negative goes towards the positive electrode and minus good, or and the positive goes towards the negative electrode and so forth. If you turn up the voltage till you get oxidation and reduction, you'll get chlorine gas off one, hydrogen off the other, and make caustic, sodium hydroxide. Um, so, but that's ions moving. So if a magnetic field does interact with salt water, and it may in some other way, you don't see that same Lenz's Law type of eddy, eddy current effect at least in this experiment. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, like the video, uh, hit the subscribe button, little round anisotropic plus button at the end here. And, uh, and there's a couple of links or other videos, in particular the Lenz's Law uh, video we did on magnetic field orientation. And the other link is to our other videos. Thank you, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you very much.